guys, how's it going? Today I am doing the 10 baby names I love but won't be using tag. And actually somebody that I uh, met and became good friends with because of YouTube told me that she was doing the same exact video and she was like, why don't we just do a collab? So all of her links and everything will be down below in the description bar. Check her out, check out her video. Her channel is called Mommy Can Make It and it's a really great channel so make sure you watch her down below. So in this particular tag, you do 10 baby names, five boy names and five girl names. And some of these are actually names that Devin and I are considering for this baby. So it's kind of like a little sneak peek for you guys on what we are thinking about naming this baby. After this baby's name is finalized and after we know for sure what we're naming him or her, this list will be null and void. We will never go back to it. It will never be a consideration again for various reasons. But I don't care to share them with you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. And I think I'm going to start with the boys because I've never named a boy. So I think I'm going to start there. And these names are not in any particular order. I just kind of wrote them down willy-nilly. But the first baby boy name on my list is Noah. This is actually a consideration for when I was pregnant with Carly. We considered naming her Noah if she were a boy. And I've just always loved this name. I love the way that it sounds and I love the way that it flows off your tongue, Noah. And I know when you look up this name on the interwebs that it says that it's really popular, but it's not in my area. <laughs> like nobody names their son Noah in my area. So although this may be a popular name nationally, it's, it's not here. And I've always loved it. It's unique and it's a strong name. I don't know. I've just always had a fondness for this name, Noah. I've just always loved it. A reason why we may not name him Noah, I don't know how well it goes with Hall, Noah Hall. There's a pause there when you say Noah. It's small, but it's there, Noah. You have to like kind of pause in the middle to get the other syllable out. And I just don't know how well that sounds with Hall. So I don't know if we will end up choosing this or not, but I still really love this name. I just always have. I've just always thought it was a good, strong, beautiful name. The first name on my list of girl names is Everly. I just love this name and I actually had never heard of it until like a month ago. <laughs> I was watching one of these videos, the 10 baby names I love but won't be using, and one of the girls said Everly and I just kind of fell in love with it. I was like, oh, that is beautiful, Everly. That is just, I love that. It sounds so graceful and elegant and just beautiful, Everly. And I particularly love that it is spelled L-E-I-G-H. As you know, Dev and I have two little girls, Carly and McKinley, and Carly is spelled K-A-R-L-I-E. And McKinley is spelled M-C-K-I-N-L-E-Y. And I love that they both have the last ending E, but spelled differently. And I love that Everly is another E ending name but it's spelled differently. So I, I think that's really interesting and unique to like stick with a theme, but to have it different. I really, really love this. I just think it's a beautiful, amazing name. A reason why we may not name her Everly, um, Devin has a thing about baby names that sound really old. Uh, he's always told me that he doesn't want to name his son or daughter a name that makes them sound like they belong in a nursing home. <laughs> and I really respect that, you know, he doesn't want that and that's not something that he wants for his kid and I really want Devin to love our baby's name. He loves Carly's name, he loves McKinley's name and I really want him to love this baby's name too. And you know this is the dilemma with anybody though, you know when you name a baby you have to go back and forth with your husband or partner but I don't know if we will end up choosing Everly or not simply because Devin thinks that it sounds really old and he's not really into that. The second name on my boys list is Dawson. I really love this name. I think it sounds really country and it's definitely unique because I've never met a Dawson and I love that it's a strong name and I love the way that it sounds when you say it. I just really love this name. I can't think of any other reasons why. I just love the sound of it and I love um, the mental picture of like a country boy in my head. I just really love this name. A reason why we may not name him Dawson, uh, again there's that pause there, Dawson Hall. Like there's a pause and I don't know if I like the pause or not. And Devin's not sure if he likes it either because it is different and he's afraid that it's too different. Is it too different? Is it too unique? Um, does it go well with Hall? We don't know. There's just a lot of ifs. I just don't know. I don't know how well that goes with our last name and Devin's on the fence about it. And he and I are still debating a lot. The second name on my girls list is Esme. 
I really love this name. I've loved this name for years. I mean, years and years since like high school. I just can't remember where I heard it from. Um, it definitely wasn't from like a book or anything, but I just can't remember where I heard this name from. But I do remember falling in love with it like instantly. And I love the way that it sounds. I think it sounds elegant and beautiful. And it's definitely unique. I have never met an Esme. At least I've never met an Esme in person, especially where I'm from. I'm from West Virginia. There's not a whole lot of people who name their kid Esme. <laughs> it can definitely go either way. It can definitely go for either a young or an old person. I could see a baby named Esme. I can see a old woman named Esme. So it kind of pleases both Devin and I with that whole don't want to give a baby an old person sounding name. And I've just always loved this name. I just I just think it's beautiful. A reason why we may not name her Esme. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. Sorry Devin. <laughs> but he has a little bit of a hard time saying it. I don't know if it's because it's technically French. But uh, every time I say Esme, he's like, okay, how do I say this again? <laughs> I'm like, as may and he's like oh okay okay and then he'll try to say it and it's just so funny it's so funny watching him try to say as may um, but he can't say it probably like 95 percent sure we're not going to use this name but i love this name i just think it's beautiful but my husband can't say it so what am i gonna do <laughs> the third name on the baby boy list is derek and this is actually a name that devin brought up to me that i'm slowly starting to warm up to uh, I like that it's different. Not a whole lot of people, at least nowadays, name their kid Derek. And there aren't a whole lot of people in my area named Derek. <laughs> and I'm slowly starting to warm up to it. It's not something that I'm just, oh my gosh, I love it so much. But it's not something that I hate either. I do like the name. But it's something that my husband loves. And because he loves it, I'm going to throw it in here. Because I could see myself easily loving this name. It's just taking me a little bit of time <laughs> to love the name. A reason why we may not name him Derek. Derek is a name that I don't know if I love 100%. Derek Hall, I just, do you, do you hear how that sounds? Derek Hall, you hear that cut at the end and then you have to say Hall, Derek Hall. I just don't know. And I'm really weird about names flowing. I like for there to be a flow and for it to be easy to say. I'm not sure if I'm 100% sold. So that's a reason why we might not name him Derek. The third baby girl name on my list is Cody, K-O-D-E-Y. And I'm gonna have to shout out my friend Katie because this is actually her daughter's name. I've always loved her name, I always have. I've been friends with Katie, who is a friend of mine on my Facebook for a really long time. I've known her since like elementary school. <laughs> when she had her daughter Cody, I just loved her name. It's a boy name for a girl, which I think is unique. And I just love that it's a good, strong name for a girl. I, I love that. A reason why we may not name her Cody, there's actually a couple. Uh, first and foremost, it's Katie's daughter's name. And it has been her name for the past like five years. So, uh, and in my head, it's kind of like cemented. Like that is her name. It is her name and it is special to her. And because it's not very common, it's just her name. But I just don't know if I would feel comfortable taking her daughter's name. And also, the ending of Cody is K-O-D-E-Y. And I already have a baby name that ends in E-Y, McKinley. And if we have another girl, I kind of want to stick to the E last syllable but different spelling because Carly and McKinley have different spellings. It's still something that we're all like on the fence about. Devin's not sure either. He's kind of, eh, I don't know. I just, I'm not sure. The fourth baby boy name on my list, and this is all me guys, because Devin does not like this name and you're about to find out why, but the fourth name is Henry. And you can imagine why Devin doesn't like it. <laughs> I love this name. My favorite movie or one of my favorite movies, I don't have like a favorite. I have several favorites, but uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. I could watch this movie over and over and over again. I will never get tired of it, ever. My favorite movie is The Time Traveler's Wife. I just think it's a great movie. And the main character in that movie is Henry. And I've always loved that name. I love the way that it sounds and I love that it's got an old grandeur to it. I can't say that word, guys, I'm sorry, but you know what I mean. And it can go either way. Like, I can see a little baby who, named Henry, and I can see an old person named Henry. I really love this baby boy name. A reason why we may not name him Henry, uh, as you can imagine, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't have to say this, I'm going to anyway. As you can imagine, Devin doesn't like that it sounds old. He still thinks that it sounds like an old person's name, even though I can see a little boy named Henry and an old person named Henry. He still thinks that it sounds like an old person. So he doesn't like it. 
plus our last name is Hall, Henry Hall. Like it just, uh, I'm a little iffy about that too because I just don't know if I like the double H. But at the same time, I kind of love that it flows, Henry Hall, like that kind of flows a little bit. But we would probably not name him this because of the double H. I don't know if I'm comfortable with the double H and Devin thinks that it sounds like an old person's name. So <laughs> those are reasons why we may not name him Henry. The fourth baby girl name on my list is Andy, A-N-D-I. Uh, you're gonna laugh at me, but that's okay. It really is. I was watching Little Fockers. I know, let the laughing begin. And one of the characters in the movie, her name is Andy Garcia. Well, I thought about the name Andy and I was like, oh, I love that. That's really unique. Like that's, like, that's a really unique name. You don't meet a whole lot of girls named Andy. And I especially love her spelling. I love that she spelled it with an I to kind of like make it like feminine because the kind of like the boy way of spelling that would be with the Y. And I love that it's a different spelling of the last syllable E. When I first heard it, I just kept saying it over and over again because I was like, oh, I love this, Andy, Andy. And I just, it was like I was hypnotized by how awesome and how much I loved this name. I just think it's really unique. I really love it. A reason why I may not name her Andy, this is one of the names that we're going back and forth on. I love it. I don't know if he loves it. Um, every time I say it to him, he gets a eh, face going on. Um, I'm hoping that it kind of grows on him because I really love this name, but I just don't know if it will and I don't know if he'll fall in love with it like I have and I really want him to love our baby's name as I've told you before. I just really want him to love our baby's name. So that might be a reason why we not name her Andy because he's iffy about it and he's not sure if he likes it with Hall and he's not sure what kind of middle name we would give her and overall he's just not sure. <laughs> the last name on my baby boy list is Levi. I love this name. I think it's country sounding and it's a strong name and I don't know why else I do love this name. I just really love this name, Levi. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. This name is not on our list. <laughs> it's just on mine. Devin does not like it and that's perfectly okay. There is a name that he came up with that I immediately vetoed. I was like, no. So it's really okay if he immediately vetoes one of mine. And this is one of them. He was like, no, I don't, I'm don't. really not liking that. Levi Hall. I really don't like that. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But so that's why his name will not be Levi. Because Devin really just doesn't like it. <laughs> the last name on my baby girl list is Blaine. My first ever job straight out of high school. I was like 19 years old. My first ever job was at Macy's. And I actually worked with a girl named Blaine. And that was the first time I had ever heard this name at all and I immediately really loved it because it, I've never met a Blaine. I haven't met a Blaine before and I haven't met one since, boy or girl. And I really love this name. It's so unique and if it's technically supposed to be a boy name, it's even more unique for a girl. And I just really loved her name. I always have loved it. I've always just really loved this name. A reason why we may not name her Blaine, uh, Devin says no. <laughs> Devin says I really don't want to name my daughter Blaine. Please, please, can we not name her Blaine? And I said, okay, we don't have to name her Blaine. It's just not a name that he likes. It's not a name that he's on board with. So we're not naming her Blaine. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to check out my awesome friend who decided to do this collab with me. She's down here in the description bar. Her channel is Mommy Can Make It, and it's a really great channel, so you have to check her out. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite baby names are. And give this video a thumbs up if any of these names you loved as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.